pretty good match here between Jeremy Sosi and Lewis Ulrich. This is the first day, the second set of matches, and it looks like a, a stellar field. This is just as good as any world tournament I ever been around. You have to play pretty well to, to win this tournament. So anyway, uh, it looks like Lewis broke and uh, Lewis broke. He won the lag. Yep. He didn't make anything. Got a shot on the one. I mean, the one two looked pretty easy. He's got a wide open table. I see no problems. No. Jeremy Sosi uh, is more or less a pinpointed player with his uh, position play. Well, that helps. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Well, he got a little bit funny. He definitely can move the cue ball to the three, but the three doesn't go in a real lot of pockets. He's going to have to uh, draw this ball probably straight back, try to get where he is right now on the three. Oh, uh, no. That he balls? cut it a hair. That's why it did why this. Why that ball drift? Well, I'll tell you what, he looks like he's straight in on his three ball. Yeah. Now he just Good luck. the frying pan into the hot oil here, Danny. Yeah, this is not real good. He needed to hit that ball straight on. He cut it a little bit, therefore he went upstream. I don't see him having a chance to make this and fall on the four. Here, it's senseless to shoot a tough shot with tough position. You've got to try to figure a safe here. Yeah, early in the match, yeah, absolutely. There's a couple of ways to play safe. I mean, he can just bump the three into the seven and bring the cue ball back three rails to get behind a five six if he wants to work that way, or just go up and down table. Yeah, he's got a tough safe, believe yeah. me. Oh yeah, he he does. He might even want to bank this. I mean, you know, I, the safe is so tricky that I think you're better off shooting. Bank the three to the corner, yeah, back to three to the right-hand corner. The cue ball will go up towards the four. It's all tough. The shot is tough, position's tough, and the safe is tough. I think he's just going to try to force follow through, just try to cheat the pocket a little bit and yeah. come out three rails. I don't like his end of shooting this. Neither Good did end. he. There you go. Right he shot the my seven. shot. He missed it by a hair. But that made sense. Nevertheless, giving that himself an sense. opportunity yeah, he to did. get back. And he didn't leave much. You know, the two, the four ball has obstructions. The three is not a hanger. So it's going to be tough to control this. If I were shooting, I think I'd try to cut this in and, and try to hit the five ball. That would be my target. I, I don't know. Hiding Whitey behind the seven, maybe? Unless he feels aggressive, well, you know, the in the opening thing play. Is, yeah, you can do that, but where's the three going? You know, it's going to be tough to go right behind the ball. And he decided to shoot a safety, and he really left a little bit of a shot. No big deal, but I'm sure he's going to shoot at this ball because I think position will come with it. What do you think there, Al? Oh, absolutely, he's going for it. I know Jeremy since he's probably 14 or 15 years old. He played in my tournaments down in New York, and uh, he's come a long way, a long yeah. way. So well, he's he, been shooting real sharp, Danny. Well, he's one of the players that I'm really not familiar with. I haven't seen him. They, they rave about him. Yeah. They say he's very deliberate. He didn't oh. cut that ball enough, and... Looks like a little two-way yeah, roll, maybe? Yeah, he got him yeah. safe. He got him safe. So right now, we're having trouble pocketing the three and falling on the four. I think he's going to go three rails behind the three and try to leave cue ball down by the seven here. Well, I think or, or rather than figure out some strategy, you better hit the ball. That's the big strategy here. And Decided he hit to it. Go two rails. He hit it. 
He left it, though. He got fortunate, though. It doesn't I look don't like think he left he, much. No, he left the cut. Don't forget, you got that four ball down there helping this. I don't think he's going to miss this in the corner. Unless yeah. he doesn't want to shoot it at all. I mean, it looks like he can cut it thin and make it. Will you get position? Yeah, Good. all he has to do is bring the cue ball back out to the center of the table. Yeah, you're right. Floor. You're right. Draw it back to the end rail and take the cut on the two. Because this is a tough ball to miss. You know, he's close enough to hit it good. Well, from my vantage point here, it looks like he's got about maybe an inch in between That's the three you need. and the cue. That's all you need. I'm sure he's going to shoot this. And I would bet he makes it. I'm filled up with coffee already, Danny. Let's forget about that coffee bet. Well, I usually drink two cups a day. I drove from Buffalo yeah. a little while ago, and I'm having a coffee in the afternoon. That's rare. Making the ball is not a big problem. It's the position that is tricky. If it reaches, it's in, but it's going to yeah. hit friction and stop. And he might have got another roll. Looks like he might be behind a five. Okay, but like it's an I easy always kick. tell Billy in Cardona. Yeah. He didn't get lucky yet. The other guy's still got the dice. I mean, I think he can kick this in. He doesn't have to get position, but I don't see any problem kicking it in one rail. But I think maybe you got to call a referee if he tries that because it's very easy to hit the four first. One of the rules here at the uh, event is if there's any kind of close call that has to be made, a referee has to be on scene or else it does go to the shooter. Well, I think he needs one now. He's, he's going playing, three cushion. He's playing three cushion billiards yeah, here. Well, he could scratch here. He can make it and scratch. He's got to catch the long rail. He made it and scratched. There you go. Yeah. Couldn't call it any better than that. Feather well, he made a good hit. He had to go that way. I might have gone one rail the other way just to get through the inning. Goes, that was more self-defense. Goes right back to the four ball. The four ball made that corner pocket big. Cue ball found the four and... Right into the corner pocket it went. Yeah. This is how you want to start. You want ball in hand like this. First game, you want to win the first game. He's all right. I don't think he can go forward. I think he's got to hit center or low and play the six in the same pocket as the five. That's what he did. Yeah, now I don't see any problems. Very good. Jeremy Sosi on the verge of uh, making a deposit on his side yep. of the string here. Yeah, I think he's going to the side pocket for the eight. No, he didn't. He went to the corner. He got perfect. He's got his choice now. He can go rail, one rail and bounce it or draw it past the side. Play the nine ball in the either lower right-hand corner, yeah. Yeah, either way, he's going to get out. Where is he from, Jeremy? Jeremy Sosi is from Connecticut. Well, there you have it. <laughs> We're playing a race to nine. Jeremy Sosi goes ahead 1-0 over Lewis Aldrich. And Lewis played a great tournament here. I think it was 2007. He played in the finals with Lee Van Corteza. And Lee got way ahead of him. And Lewis never gave up. And he, won, he wound up running five racks to make it a contest. But he impressed me. There's no quit in this kid. Right. And then uh, Jeremy Sosi. Sosi finished second Archer a couple years ago in this event.
which is always a good finishing second in a tournament like this. It, you know, it's it's great finish, great finish. We yeah, have great a, players. Yeah, it was a great tournament. That tournament. Well, he doesn't like the rack. We haven't had this. The first match, we didn't have any of this. Jeremy Sosi has such a hard break, you know, his timing. He's put everything together, all his mechanics. Uh, he probably weighs about 90 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> You no, know, sort of like Santos Sabo. You know? Yeah, no, he's a little bigger than that. <laughs> but, but they do tell me about his break being great. Yeah. He used to sit and watch uh, one of our uh, friends that had passed on, uh, George Sansushi Ginky. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Sosa used to just sit and watch him, watch Ginky break and watch. Ginky's patents and run out and Ginky's safe and well, Jeremy likes it now. Let's uh, listen for the crash. Loses the cue ball, doesn't make a ball. He glanced. He didn't hit it firm. He glanced. He got a lot of action, but he didn't make a ball. Once again, Lewis comes to the table after Jeremy giving it up and looking at practically nothing here. I mean, he's got a possible billiard down towards the two ball, but he's got to watch he doesn't get behind that two. Yeah, I, I don't think I would go for that. And what he has to worry about going that path is he could scratch two on the, off the rail, off the two. Right. So let's see what he decides. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a good safe. He might bank the one. He can hit it. I don't know if he can hit it full. Well, he left the one. I mean, it's far away, but I always like to say that there's one shot in a game of nine ball that wins that particular rack. This might be it. Because if he makes this, he's going to have position for sure. I think he's going to spear this one ball right in. Well, he didn't, but he had a little flaw in the mechanics there. His mechanics weren't very good. He let go of the bridge. I don't know if he can make this. He might be able to. If he can make this, he can draw back. This is a ref shot for sure, from my point of view. I mean. Yeah, I think you got to call the ref. There's a perfect view of it. You know. Lewis uh, signaled over to Jeremy, we better call a ref for this one. Better. You better. He has to hit this one ball pretty full or else it's going to bobble in the pocket because he's going to have to shoot it with some zip to draw the ball. So the way it's sitting here could very easily overcut it a hair and it'll bobble. It looks like he has room, but it looks like if he does give it a little zip, it looks like it might jar it might, the way yeah. it's sitting. Because he can't hit it full. And here comes our referee uh, coming down the, uh, the side rail to view the shot. Once again, you're watching the Turning Stone Classic 18. You know, I might not, because of the difficulty, I might not even try to draw it back. I might just cinch it and go forward a little bit. Well, he's shooting like he's going to draw it, so he must feel like he can hit it full enough. And a nine ball coming up. And the four ball making that corner pocket real big for that nine ball just to get in there, it looks like it. Yeah, it will help. 
I like to hit this with speed so you don't hang the nine ball up. No, 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 no. Speed makes it tougher. I don't mean to doubt you, but speed makes it a tougher shot, you know. Well, he made the eight. <laughs> and he doesn't he made the have four ball, yeah, the four ball the was four. the one he doesn't yeah. have the he doesn't have a shot on Look the at this. But that's oh. what could happen and and we're seeing it happen. Well, oh. not a lot going right for Lewis. <laughs> okay. Well, here's something I li I always talk about. What happens if you just give them ball in hand? You know, give them ball in hand, you might not be in this tough a spot next time. He's going to try to hit rail first, but this is a sellout. Well, the two balls off the rail, so he's just going to lay up on the two slow, just nudge the two well, to the rail. I don't rail. think he could hit it slow. It won't grab. He's got to stroke it a little. That's all. Well, and sell out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't like that. It's all the farm, but the John Deere tractor up at the other end is still has to be claimed. The three ball sitting up by that seven. Yeah, get out near the spot and cut it in. Yeah. There, I'll say it again, I would have gave him ball in hand. You might not have been in that bad a spot again. He can make this. Get out in the open, cut it in. I don't know if you would have gave him ball in hand if you, Jeremy would have attempted to make that nine ball up in the corner pocket or oh, that I don't combination. Think so. No, I don't think so. Now, I would have liked to seen that because uh, right now he's going to wish the guy was shooting a combination. <laughs> really, really, because the yeah. run out doesn't look bad at all. No, it's only my opinion there, but, you know, change things a little bit. Because he sold out doing it his way. I better shut up because we're pretty close to the table. He got good on this. See what I mean about I wish he would have shot a combination. Yeah, Let him have well, it. I'm sure he's saying that to himself yeah. as he's sitting in that electric chair over there right now. Yeah, you're done. With a good player, you're done. The only chance you had was for him to shoot a combination. But anyway, that's over. And so is this wreck. <laughs> that's all water under the bridge already? Yeah. All right. You heard Danny going out on a limb and saying this wreck is over. Well, I don't like, for the people out there, I don't like it to sound like it's too easy because players out there, they don't think it's that easy, you know. So I don't like to present it like it's real easy. But with players of this caliber, it yeah. is pretty easy. Agreed. Agreed. I just hate to go out on a limb sometimes and hit him with the what we kind of call the commentator's jinx. <laughs> Makes me feel guilty. Not that I lose any sleep. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeremy Sosi here about to pocket this nine ball to take a 2-0 lead over Lewis Allridge. It, this is a race to nine. Yep. There you have it. Okay, he didn't break him real well last rack because he glanced. Yeah, yeah. He I'm glanced. used to hearing that that snap in his break. We should be able to catch that now. I'm sure he'll fix it up. And he didn't pocket a ball either. I don't know if he'll choose to go back to that same side of the box or switch over. Well, I like telling people that when you're in a match... Watch where the other guy breaks from. Because if he's having more success than you are where you're breaking from, it gives you two chances to see where the best spot is to break from. you got to pay attention to that. Absolutely. Know? Okay, let's see if he likes it. Well, I guess he likes it. Sunk the one ball into the side pocket. And the six. And the two. He made three balls. Oh, man. We're playing six ball now. Yeah, and they're all out in the open.
looks like Jeremy Sosi uh, found the speed of the table mighty quick. Yeah, that was a good shot. But you have to hit it with a good stroke for it to go that far without whacking it. Get a little angle on the five. He wants to come back up table for the seven and shoot it in the opposite corner. I don't know if he's going to attempt to go by this eight, Danny. Well, you got to worry about the side, too. He might go to the inside three rails and come back out. I think out. that's best. I think that's less of a gamble. Because if he draws at one rail, which he looks like he's going to do, that side pocket, and now he's going forward. I like this. You got to watch that nine. You don't want to come out too well, sharp. No, he's going to miss the nine. No, he's go. going perfect. Yeah, that was the best way to go because that takes away the side pocket. Yep. Just deciding whether he wants to play in the corner or into the side. I like the side pocket myself. Well, where the eight is sitting really doesn't much matter. It goes in a bunch of pockets, so I'm sure he's going to get an easy enough shot on the eight. And he went to the side, like you said. Now I think he's got to go forward two rails, shoot the nine in the corner. No, he made... He, it was drifted. full enough. It was full enough. Yep. He made, good shot. Walt, from the opening statement of uh, saying Jeremy Sosi is a deliberate player and kind of slow, uh, he's uh, proven us wrong. Now going up 3-0 over Lewis Aldridge. Uh, not taking anything away from Lewis. He just hasn't had opportunity. No, he's had no chance yet. But like I said, there's no quitting in this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just needs uh, an open window. And Find something to shoot at and keep Jeremy in that chair for a little while. Let him cool off. From my personal experience watching Jeremy break, he's, he's not right right now. He didn't show up on the break yet. Well, he ran that one out. Yeah, yeah. But he's glancing a little. He ain't hitting the square. That That's was a little square. bit better. That was it. And yet, he only made noise. A lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, see, uh, that's another thing about the break. Look at that. They were racked tight. He hit them solid. Made nothing. Yeah. But on the other hand, Lewis coming to the table with finally an opportunity to see a clear shot at the one. But the two seven looks like it's close to wired. Yeah, I might not play that. I think he's got an angle here to miss the six and play the two in the same pocket as the one. Now oh, he's playing the combination. You see where he passed? Yeah, he yeah. could have very easily got to the two in that other corner. But yeah, he if he makes like this, he'll he be fine. He probably didn't like that shot because he had to come back down table for that three. Yeah. It's just a little more difficult. But he's yet, he still has to make this combination. It's no gimme. Nice shot. And he left the two in a position. Well, now I think he has to draw it past the side and play the three in the side. He can go back and forth, shoot it in the corner, but I like drawing it past yeah. the side. Finesse it. Yeah, finesse the yeah. cue ball and yeah. bring it down. You got to get the draw to take. He did it. And he's got the right angle. It'll go back up for the four. Yeah. He just missed the point, by the way. Had he hit that point, things would have been a little different. But he needs to win a game here. He don't want to get behind four nothing. That's a good hit.
Whether this rack was deliberately racked the way it came out, I mean, every ball wound up on opposite sides of the table. He's working from the four, now back down to the five, and the six up the other end. Seems like this is the way it's been. Now you, you look like he might have got two straight. Does he have an angle? Oh, he's fine. Just stop it right there and accept sure, the shot. You got, sure, you got a perfect angle on the six to yep. get to the eight automatically. It looks like he's winding up here. Oh, no, stick the ball. You got the angle on the six. There That's you go. it. Perfect. You just have to make the ball, and you're perfect. Got the angle to go one rail to the eight. Watch out. Oh, that's terrible. Wow. That's the terrible. The cue ball shot. makes a deposit into the side pocket. Yeah, that's not unlucky. How unfortunate is that? That's not unfortunate. He's got plenty of rail to play with. He made a bad shot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And where the nine is, it wasn't imperative to get that good on the eight. So he could have done anything but that. That was careless. Well, Jeremy Sosie's going to take it anyway. Yeah. He's not going to argue. No, he's happy about it. Absolutely. Well, Jeremy Sosi just coming to the table with the eight and nine left, ball in hand. Now turns it around instead of a three one and going up four to zero. Big difference. Wow, big game. This is a race to nine. Jeremy's almost halfway home here. If he breaks and makes another three balls on the break, he'll be halfway home. <laughs> well, he didn't make any last game. Yeah. And he didn't and lose the game because the other guy made a careless shot, scratched on the seven. How can you do that? I mean, he scratched on the, the six. Just tried to get two perfect on the eight. There was no need. No know. need to because yeah, of where the right. nine was. Yeah. Well, he'll think of that one for a little while. But like I tell people, you got to forget that inning. That's gone. Let's see if he switches over since he made no ball. He was breaking from the left side of the box, your right side of the screen. There he goes. Yeah, hey, you got to try we'll something do different. Yeah. You got to do that. He glanced. Yep. He glanced, and he still didn't make a ball. And still, Lewis has no shot. He did well, make a ball. Oh, did he? Yeah, he made the two oh, yeah, ball, he I did. believe. He did. He made a ball. So he's got to figure this one out. I just a roll out all the way. Where do you roll out? Right to where the five ball is and let him kick it. Unless he sees something that we don't. I like rolling over to the five and then having a chance to kick the one out and leaving the cue ball back there somewhere. If he accepts the shot. Oh, well, that's what I mean. If he doesn't accept the shot, then you playing the kick, and kicking that one ball out. Well, you don't want to leave a guy the same choice you had if it's good. So the push to me is a wasted shot anyway. Where do you put this? I almost like kicking right here at the one and freezing him on the eight if he can spin that deep. Because you're not going to get the best of the push. Yeah, there you go. Going to push over near the five ball and let him kick at it. You're going to lock up the seven nine? I don't like that. They're already locked up. I don't like locking it up any closer and possibly making a combination out of it. Why? Whose shot will it be? Whoever gets to the seven ball first. Yeah, well, let him go here. Wow. All right. He's looking at kicking it. Yeah, good luck. I would have pushed closer to that other rail, the side rail, and then tried to snooker him kicking into the one with and kicking, snookering him with, with that ball there. You mean pushing the cue ball over towards the three, that side of the table? Yeah. And then kick at this ball and try to freeze him behind that ball. 
He's going to feather this one ball and bring Does the cue ball a, back by the yeah. three. Let's see if he's got a feather. He don't wow. have a feather, pal. What happened to the feather? It was a bad push, pal. It was a bad push. <laughs> a bad push from the get-go. Now, because it is tied up, you might want to try to get him on three. Shoot the one and freeze him on that ball. Might want to get him on three. Play the, play the one ball, you mean two rails out and lock the cue ball Just behind the Just put the one straight in on the one and stick it and freeze them on that eight. Might get them on three. You got to bring that one ball into somewhere where he's going to have another safe. He's going he's gonna to play the one. Well, I don't know. The now more balls you take off the table, the less chance you got to get them on three. I don't know what he's going to do with the 7-9. Seven, yeah. He's got to get the angle, the right angle on yeah. the 6 to snap that 7 out of there. I don't like this. You're right. I, I think he should have played safe on that one ball. He should have froze him on that sure. 8. Well, let's see what Lewis has in store. Well, what it's looking like now is a safe off the 7. You know, you don't always play to run out. You play to get the best safety. Or well, maybe he's going to use the five to, to break the seven out. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, he missed the four. Never mind that. Okay. So that means Jeremy Got made what a he good wanted. decision. <laughs> he's getting what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. You put the seven see, where it is see, now. You deal with it. <laughs> straight pool players will figure a way to open the balls and play position two, but I don't know if he can do that with the five. You know, do you, do you think that hitting those balls off the five will get you a good shot on the six to get you back to the seven? If, I if don't he, think so. Well, if he can get the angle on the five where he can just clip the inside of that seven ball with enough speed, yeah, he can come back out for the six and the side, but that's like really, really precision play. Yeah, but it's, then what do you do with the seven? You don't get to the seven that way. No, I don't like his end of hitting that ball. This is not the angle. He, well, maybe. No, it wouldn't have been uh, any good anyway. Now I put him behind the eight. Don't even shoot this. You might want to bank this lightly into the seven and try to go behind the eight. Right where he put his fingers, folks. Yeah. That's where he's That's looking to put shot. the cue ball. And open these two in case he hits the ball. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Bank it right at the nine and go behind the eight. All speed. This is all speed, and it looks like he hit it short. Yeah. Yeah, he come up short. Well, now you got to be careful. Whatever you do, you don't want to hit those two balls that are tied up. You know, if you can hit this five without hitting those two balls, it's a good shot. If he can see a little piece of this five, he can bring the white, the cue ball right back up where that eight is. Right behind can, the eight yeah. again. If he can see a piece of it from... Uh, I'm not sure. From where we're looking at. It looks like it's close to the way uh, Lewis is looking at it. Yeah. If he can hit the five without hitting the nine, he could go behind the eight. He's just got to watch that five doesn't glance off of the nine, billy it off the nine and well, leave a shot. He's hitting it too thin to do that. I don't think he could hit it full enough to hit the nine with it. He's looking to kick. So he couldn't hit it at all. Now yeah. don't hit the seven nine, whatever you do. He's going two rails. Okay, that's not bad. Let him work again. Now look what you wind up with here. He can hit those balls. He'll have some kind of shot on the six. But you got to get the seven out. That's just a dangerous shot. You don't want to go into the corner pocket with this cue oh, ball. Oh, you're not going in the corner pocket. You're not going to go into the corner pocket. Shoot the five in. You'll probably hit the nine on the nose. You'll have some kind of shot on the seven. Jeremy, I think he's thinking about playing 
drawing the cue ball past the seven. But, you know, what does that do for him? He's Nothing. No, I think this is the time you go into the balls because you're going to have a shot on the six. The well, whole what it thing. could do for him, Danny, he could make the six and then play safe on the seven, nine, just push the seven a little bit closer to the nine and bring the cue ball back up by the eight if he gets that far. That's possible. But right now, yeah. I, I like going into the balls. Yeah, I, I like that. And he might even knock the, the seven towards the pocket. You got to shoot this. Looks like he might be drawing it past the seven. I don't think so. Well, he did it, but he missed it. Now he might, no, oh, he didn't scratch. Look at this. Here comes the roll. You got a cup of coffee with this one? Yeah. It you is. got another roll. Yeah. And he uh, makes a hand gesture towards uh, Lewis, uh, saying uh, his yeah. apologies uh, for getting a roll, but uh, he's not well, going to lose sleep over it. I played in Japan, and when they got lucky, yep. they turn to you and they bow. Yes, yes. <laughs> they do. But anyway, the big deal here is you might have to hit the balls. His only chance is the seven and nine tied up. But with this shot... I think they need a referee hit, Danny, if he's no, going to go no, for the I don't kick. Think so. No, he's going to kick, hit it. Yeah, he's got a big ball to hit. He went for and the as kick. long as he didn't hit those balls, he's still alive. Okay, it looks like it's going to be the seven ball safe. Yep. Just bumping it into the nine and bringing the cue ball up by the eight here. That's what it becomes. Yeah. Try to get the best spot to play a safe off that seven, which would be cutting it thin and leaving them long. You're not going to snooker anybody here. Is he thinking about going at those balls off the five, two rails? I think he's thinking about going off the, I don't, after I don't the seven, like after that. off the six. No, he's going to, yeah, he could do that. You still got a hope here. He got a good angle, but... I don't like going behind the nine ball and trying to break these up. I like playing the safe, playing the seven into the nine and just bringing that white ball back up behind that eight possibly. You're right. You're right. Too risky. You got a good chance here to get thin on the seven and leave them long. Yeah. But he might be... He's going one rail at the balls. Doesn't have to turn out good here. That's what he's he doing. He can get caught up behind that nine ball. Wow, he actually hit the seven. He's ball. still got what we were talking about. <laughs> Cut the seven now, leave him long. That's it. Yeah, that's what I, th I didn't think you ever had to get a shot on the balls hitting them. And so he winds up where he should have been in the first place, playing a safe off the seven. Leave him long, that's all you can do. Playing inside English, just going to bring it up. Try to try oh, him up Oh, I wouldn't have eight. done that. He scratched. That was wow. done. No need to do that. You already had him in bad spot with the seven. Well, what did he do to the seven nine? Did he? Oh, he, he opened went, it. Yeah, he opened what it, he yeah. did. He left the shot. There's no need to try to go behind anything. Leave him long. He sold out. Lewis does not mind this. Okay, so the table turns now, and Lewis Aldridge gets a break in the action here. It and didn't a chance, turn yet. A chance for him to get one game on the. His side of the beads. Well, did he get enough angle to go two rails? Oh, he's going to draw it. That, watch out. Right in the hole. Watch out. This looks like it's right yep, in the hole. That's what he did. Wow. Yep. This is one of those games where you don't want to be on the side where Lewis is standing. It's Murphy's Law for Lewis Aldridge. Meanwhile, yep. Jeremy gladly jumps like a mosquito out of his seat and goes up 5 nothing in a race to nine. Yeah, there were some mental errors there. On both parts. Yeah. What? Jeremy Sosi leads 5 nothing. so, you know, he didn't do anything wrong yet. Neither did I. I didn't miss a ball from here yet. Yeah. I like to say you're playing very well, but you're not. <laughs> Did you keep the stats on my game? <laughs> but I play fair. <laughs> yeah, you probably do. You probably do. I kid a lot. 
I kid a lot, but I'd like to play you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filled up with coffee already, Danny. <laughs> we got to go to something else. Maybe a little water with ice cubes. All right, here we go. Let's see uh, if Jeremy likes this package. What's that mean, water with ice cubes? Yeah. I'll just... bet I drilled the ice cube further than you. I seen one of your uh, gizmos there you did with the toothpick and the fork and the I glass. I do a few tricks. I do yeah, a few tricks. I like that. Uh, Jeremy uh, coming up to inspect the pack here. This is a race to nine. Uh, Jeremy Sosi is leading 5-0 at the Turning Stone Casino and Resort Classic. 18. What a great venue. This is a great field here. It truly is. He made a couple. Where are you, one? That's what I start yelling. Where are you, one? He He's got a shot, but. He had the cue ball running know. about 40 feet around the table. Yeah, he's not hitting them solid. Okay, what do you do here? He's going to play rail first. Unless he has enough where he can just... Does he have to jump over the four ball? I can't tell. No, I, I, it, to me it looks like he can go right at it. But what do you do with it? He's going to have to draw it straight back just to accept the shot, get past the five, and accept the shot See, on the four. Yeah, I don't agree on gambling and drawing the ball. That makes the, that makes the shot so much tougher. I like sticking it there and taking the shot on the four. That would be the best percentage. Leaving if, the cue ball up there? Would right it there. Wow. If he could make this ball, shoot and stop right there. I'll bet you win more games doing that than if you try to draw the ball and get closer. You're not going to have a good angle on the four anyway. I we're, we're just surmising that he can see the one. We, yeah, we're not I, sure. I think he could, but maybe not. Let's see. Now he's starting to go into. No, he's going to stick the ball, I believe. Well, is he no, going rail I don't, first? I can't tell. Rail first, he might get totally snookered. Well, he can stick the cue ball right there and bring the one three rails he out. He hit rail first. There you go. He hit it yeah. too hard. Yeah, he's not going to like this. Here lot. comes the leaky, leaky one ball coming up table. Yeah, he's got a shot. Doesn't matter. Lewis has shot himself in the foot with shots. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And that one game, I think it was game two, he tried to get perfect on the eight and wound up uh, scratching it in the mm -hmm. side pocket. Yeah, that was silly. However, he's had other shots since, so he's not dead yet, you know. And, he, he, you know, he's a seasoned player. He, he knows how to let that stuff go, you know, not dwell on it. As you can see, he just sliced that one ball in and gets... Good shot. Looks like he might have got good on the four. Well, it's, a, it's a cut. Got to go well, back and forth. That'll be automatic. Got to make the ball. You're going to get position. Make the ball. It's new cloth, so the ball will crawl. That's going to be pretty Better good. Watch the speed. You don't want to get too straight on it. Well, well does he have an angle to go forward two rounds? Or can he just draw back and take the cut on the six? Yeah, it looks like he might be able just to draw back a couple inches. And but this is, when you're losing 5 nothing. this is not easy. Well, nobody told him that. Yeah, but, you know, you got to get on the 7 now. That's not easy. You know, it's time to uh, get on that horse as it's going by. you got to get this opportunity while you can. You're down 5 nothing. you got to yeah. get something going. you got to open up that stroke. Good shot. He's fine. He's fine. He's in danger of winning one. This is his danger point, too. He gets on the last couple of balls. He left uh, Jeremy Sosi ball in hand on the 7-8, and he left him with a ball in hand on the 9-ball. Yeah, he's going to make this. Eight. Perfect. Does he have the right angle to come back down? Yes, he does. Yeah, he's got a good shot. This is my favorite right here.
Well, he's going to get on the board. There you go, folks. Five to one in a race to nine. Jeremy Sosiova, Lewis Allrich. Now, being in Lewis's shoes, watching Jeremy break all the time, there's really no sweet spot that Jeremy found. No, he didn't learn oh. anything from Jeremy. Yeah. He really didn't. Okay, Jeremy was breaking from the other side of the box. Lewis says, let me give this side a shot. Okay, it looks like the wing ball dropped in the corner pocket. Yeah, he made one. Now, does the one pass? Well, if it doesn't, he's got a pretty easy billiard here. Yeah, but he's got to do it right speed and shoot yeah. the one in the other corner. And he doesn't want to get too straight. He wants to get an angle to come back out. It. Got to just roll right, it, just shoot roll the it. one in the other corner. But That's he needs an angle so he can come back for the three. Well, wow, he's got he, it in the side. <laughs> he came out okay. So far. It looks like he's struggling for some reason. Uh, well, <laughs> something bothering him? You're, you're losing 5 nothing. You might start struggling now. <laughs> No, no, he, he puts a grinch on his face like, you know, every shot looks like he's out of line, he, you know? He always has that poker face. I've seen him before. It has nothing to do with what he's capable of doing. It's just his uh, attitude at the table, huh, his demeanor? Yeah. He's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think he's got enough of the corner pocket to make it. Yeah, he does. But do the you have enough is, yeah. to go forward to right? You do. You can shoot the five to the right side of the pocket and go two rails to the six. That's what he's going to do. He's going to kick it? No, he's cutting it and going two oh. rails. I'll tell you what. The way I was looking at the monitor just now, it looked like he was about to kick that five ball. I better put my binoculars on. All right, Lewis here. Threatening to put up another bead on his side. What Good I uh, what I shot. see him is struggling. Get off the rail. The only way you can go wrong on the rail. Now the thing gets tricky. I don't know if he can roll it in softly to shoot the aid in the side. And if he tries to draw it, makes the shot tougher. I roll this and take the shot on the eight in the side. I think he can hit it full enough to go nowhere. I don't like jacking up and trying to draw it, and that's what he's aiming to do, it looks like. He's going he's gonna to spin out two rails and shoot it in the same pocket with a seven. Oh, no, I don't no, think so. No, he rolled no, it. He did it what I taught yeah. him. Yeah. Nice yeah. call, Dan. Yeah. Wouldn't expect anything different. The only thing is, he might play it up in the corner instead no, of the I side. I wouldn't do that. You don't have to. Shoot it in the side. You're fine. Yeah, you don't shoot that in the corner. Well, he's in the match. 5-2 isn't so bad now. There we go. Every game's a game, one at a time. Lewis climbing that ladder. Especially with the break. If you could keep making balls, play them one by one, you can't win four games in a row in one, one game. You just got to play them. Each game, individual, try to win them all. Keep Jeremy in that chair and let that arm get a little chilly. Could turn the tide here. I think I remember Lewis. I think I uh, watched a few of his matches here at this event once before. Well, like I said, 2007, he played huh. great. He lost to Lee Van Corteza in the final match but he showed plenty of heart to get like he's doing now you know he's grinding out he just ran two racks what if you run two more it's a match absolutely you just got to play him one at a time now
he had success breaking from there, he's going to do it again. Nine ball. It's in the Whoa. area. Oh, my God. Didn't well, make a ball, but yeah, it did fall. I don't know if that's enough time lapsed. If walking around made it fall in, you yeah, got to put it Lewis back. Yeah, but Lewis actually still had his hand on the table. Yeah. I don't know. Any uh, vibration could have made that fall. It becomes, was the ball still moving, even slightly? The ball was hanging in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Lewis still had his left hand on the table, and then the ball dropped. What is the call? I think I think he gets the ball because he, you got five seconds, and I think the floor is pretty solid. So I don't know right. if walking made it fall. I think he gets this game. Right, the five second rule after all the balls stop. Right. Yep. And there was nobody here with a stopwatch, like, but that wasn't golf? five seconds. You ever see him in golf? The ball's standing there, and they are standing, and, and, Win. and they wait. Yeah. I think he gets the game myself. I would say so. Yeah, I don't think five seconds passed. See, the thing here is, even calling the referee, tournament director, he would have to have seen it with a stopwatch. Right. So I think it's like football. The, 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 the play on the field stands. You know, the call stands. Right. Yeah. Well, I, in this case here, I think it goes to the shooter. But, you know, we're going on the honest system here, and uh, we know Lewis is uh, an honest gentleman. And we're going to wait and uh, see what uh, Mike Zuglin says. Uh, I agree. I think uh, Lewis wins that game. I was starting to like Lewis till you said he was honest. <laughs> No, I think he gets the game. You know, Danny, you're a bad influence. Stay away from that young man over there. Don't teach him any of those moves. <laughs> now, here comes Mr. Zuglin walking down the I'll be tournament honest arena. with you. If I were playing him, I wouldn't even argue. He gets the game. I don't know what they're going to tell this guy. Well, I hope Mike you Zuglin know. doesn't ask me for my personal opinion because I cannot get involved here. Yeah, we're not the referees. Right. Mike Zuglin's going to talk to both players. Um. I think he gets the ball, mainly because he wasn't here to watch it, you know. Right. If there's a doubt, you got to give it to the player at the table. You know, it ain't like we're standing on plywood floors. Right. Well, that five-second rule comes into effect. <coughs> yeah. After every ball stops, you got five seconds, and that ball was hanging there for no more than maybe two or three seconds, and then dropped. You're right. So, uh, Mike Zuglin might make a decision to have him re-rack and just start over. Bad decision. Well, I'm just speculating. It's just uh, I'm trying to read his hand language <coughs> and his body language, and let's see. Uh, what Mr. Zuglin comes up with. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I know that. Yeah, we already said that, Mr. Zuglin. We are not the referees. So, uh, and there we have it. It looks like it's either going to be a re-rack. We're not sure. Lewis didn't put a beat up yet. Yeah, they're, they're going to break again. Well, let's see if he puts a beat up. He's got the game. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's the right call. So now that changes the match around to a 5-3 lead for Jeremy Sosi over Lewis Ulrich in this race to nine. Once again, we are at the Turning Stone Casino Resort in Verona, New York. This is the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour stop at the Turning Stone. This is the Turning Stone Classic 18. Well, the main thing there was no one was here to watch it. So with the doubt, you got to give it to the guy at the table. 
Well, what's right is right. You know, if, if Mr. Zuglin has that five-second rule, which is usually standard, after the break, uh, you have five seconds. Uh, and when the ball stopped rolling, and if the nine ball dropped in the pocket, it's, it's an automatic win. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I think both players just got a little uh, well, bewildered of, of what happened, and they didn't... Uh, Mike Zuglin is talking to Pat Fleming now, and Mike has already pointed to me and said, we don't count. Our <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Well, tell no. me this. Yes. If you got no other thing to go by, why wouldn't we count? Well, if, if you can go back to the replay and, and... We could do that. Yes, then that, that's a totally different story. Then we're getting back into football. We can get into replays. We'll put the curtain over Mike Zuglin, let him look at the replay, and let him call it. <laughs> All right, both players happy with the decision, and we're back at the table. You know, he's glancing, and he's trying to do that. Well, he's made a couple of balls here, but. Now, does he want to bet the game on banking this? Could he hold it up? Uh, I would go two rails and try to put him behind the five. Yeah, Cut it thin, go two rails behind the five. Drag it down. That's, That's what it. he's doing. He's doing it nicely, too, by the way. I like the speed. He's doing it nicely. Wow. Jail with no bail? Nah, he's got a. Hey, I'm playing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Dan? Does he mass say this and go after it? Or does no, he play a Z shot and try to get behind it? You got to kick. He's got one rail. Oh, does he? Sure, you're hitting the ball oh, high. Was, it's going to go long. Oh, I thought he was directly it behind the five. It might go too long. Yeah, the English could bring it out too long. The high could do it. He hit it. It ain't going to help him, though. Well, cue ball still traveling. Well, Lewis is in the match. Well, like you said from the beginning, don't count him out. No, he plays hard. Well, he wound up straight on the one, but it was perfect because the two balls He's up at the other side of the now, table. But do you go play position for the five or for the combination? I don't. I don't. Uh, I like the combination shot. Yeah. It looks on. Uh, he didn't get the. I combination. think he tried to get in between them. Yeah. Played bad speed. Get the bridge, play the billiard. It's free. <laughs> it is. Bank the five in that corner pocket. Yeah, and leave Hit the Hit the ball. nine, yep. and if the five goes, you got the six. You might make the nine. Yeah, you got to bank at this and play the nine. A lot of things could happen here. Good. They can all happen good. Yeah. Yeah, I like this because he's going to have them safe. He didn't hit it hard enough, but... Well, I don't know what's going on. It might go to the side. No, he don't have anything. He's got a two-rail kick. I think we're going to have to go to the air. I don't think so. I don't think you go to the air here. I like the two-rail kick at the five because you're going to the six. You mean coming up out of the right-hand corner, two rails? Yeah. Yeah, he gets on, he hits that five ball on that other side. He's right in the drink. That's a yeah, but you got to make good shots. You know, the win matches. You got to make good shots. If you hit the five on that side, you made a bad shot. Right. Well, the, uh, the odds are you're going to hit it on that side too. No, coming out of that no, lower you're rail. Not. Why can't you miss it wide or cut it in? No, I like him kicking two rails. He's got How about one chance. rail kick, Danny? Right off the right you're off. You're not right. getting positioned for the six, then. Two rails, you're getting positioned for the six. One rail, you're going to wind up with another bad shot. He's doing what you said. He can't gain anything from this. Well, if he hits the uh, the lower part of that five, it automatically deflects the cue ball down towards the six. But that's an if, you know. There's a lot no, of ifs involved there. No, it's here. more likely he'll cut it and go further away. If he gets on the other side, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. ifs here. Yeah. Let's yeah. see what happens here. I like the two-rail kick. I think it's pretty clockable. Okay, I better shut up because he might have heard me. <laughs> he might go to the air. Does oh, he have no. enough room here on the Forget rail? Forget the air. <laughs> <laughs> I 
What's the matter? You don't like flying. <laughs> I don't like the air on this shot. You, I like two rail kicking. I already said that. I'm yeah. not going to say it again. He's got a couple couple opportunities here. Yeah, I don't like one rail. He's going to wind up with all this. He's going two rails. No, he ain't. Oh, I don't like this at all. He might be spinning. This it way, it. he might scratch. I still like the one rail kick right off the right side. He's not going to get position if he does that. Well, this is going to be tough, I'll tell you right now. I like two rails. And if he wants to just hit it, he could spin one rail on the left of the six. But This could be the highlight oh, shot of the okay. match right here. I don't see anything good happening here. Well, let's see if he hits the inside of this five. Uh, if he hits the inside of it, he ain't making it. He didn't hit the five at all. Boy, oh boy. He didn't have my permission to shoot that. <laughs> but I already told you, when you go diagonally, you see how long it went? Because after the ball hit the rail, the high took and it went longer. Diagonally is so tough to judge, especially on new cloth. Yeah, he's supposed to uh, go to it. And now we're looking at a possible 5-4 match here. Yeah. 5 nothing. he's going to win four in a row. Did he hit it hard enough? Nope. Nope. Now he's got to either load up with a lot of uh, right-hand English and take the cut on the 9-9 nine. Nine's sitting pretty good. But he didn't shoot hard enough. It looks Let's like see. he's playing inside English. Yeah, yeah he's, it he's grabbed. Enough. He's fine. We have a match here, 5-4. Wow, what a turnaround. Five ball turns that game around, possibly turning this match around. Jeremy, Jeremy Sosi at five and Lewis Ulrich at four. Jeremy at one point was leading five to nil, wasn't it? Yeah. Five nothing was the score. Now he's won four in a row. Due to the slow motion drop on the nine. Overall, slow motion and not, it was a good call. Well, Good now point. he's got to mark the score. Lewis uh, marked his beat up. It is five to four in favor of uh, Jeremy okay, Sosie. Yeah, we got to get it on our score here. Look Watch at the nine ball. It's in the cube. Hey. Now we're looking at the nine hung again. Uh oh. There's what? no O oh, O oh here. You got to play safe. Yeah. You know, catch him at the pass, but you got to play safe. Jeremy looking at dragging the cue ball down there. Very tough shot. You know, you don't want to be betting the game on this. No. Play a safe and catch him at the pass. You don't have to. You got a pretty good safe here. Look at all the balls he's got to get him with. Cut the one to the end rail, and you got him with the five, six, and eight. Well, he can drag the cue ball for the nine and still play safe. I don't know about that. Where's the Where's the one going to go? If you hit it that full, it's going back and forth. Top no, shot rail. You could be betting the game on this. I don't. I don't like it. He doesn't have my permission. <laughs> Here goes the Get drag. It? Get it? There goes the one ball. Yeah, he made the one. He got a roll, but he locked the three up. No, he didn't. The three either goes or the combination's dead. The three goes in this pocket where the yeah, nine is. Yeah, it does, yeah. It gets down but, low enough. But it looks the like seven the seven might be, be Yeah, it might be a dead combination. Yeah. How about the four nine and just ending the game right there? Well, eventually, you got to get the two and three out before you shoot the four. You know yeah. that, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Sosi now getting a roll on that one ball. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect, because now he can shoot the three and draw one rail off the seven. He'll have the four nine. Automatically going to go one rail with the cue ball perfectly. 
Yeah, you're going to glance the seven and go one rail, but you got to stroke it. Yeah, he'll be perfect when this is over. Boy, I, I tell you what, his his hand is close to that eight ball. It's all ball fouls. Oh, are we? Oh, I didn't know that. See how he went to the ball? Seven ball stops, four nine line perfect. up. Perfect. He didn't have a problem. Well, it is all ball fouls, but they play like on an honor system. If you touch a ball and don't get up and tell your opponent that you touched the ball and give him the opportunity to put it back where it is, and you continue with your shot, it is a foul. Well, I wasn't at the meeting. Okay. Jeremy Sosi now six to four. leads six to four in a race to nine. I can tell you folks that uh, are going to view this. Uh, if you've never been to the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York, at this venue here, it is free for anybody to come in and watch your favorite players and get autographs. What a great venue. There's another you, one you coming up. You could come and not even get autographs. Yeah, it's, it's such a great venue. I mean, you, the seating, <laughs> the seating is exquisite. You can see the whole arena, the, every game going on and score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it is pretty, you know, <laughs> on an angle, it is good. What do you mean you could come and not get any autographs, just to well, watch the matches? You come, <laughs> yeah, you said you could come and get autographs. Like they got to get autographs when they come. They can come and not get autographs and still be here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I guess Jeremy didn't like that one. Yeah, I don't know. What's he going to do with all the ones that he broke when they were tight and didn't make a ball? You know, I don't even let him get into that anymore. I've been doing this 50 something years, you know what I mean? You want to hear the worst story of the break? Yeah. I'm playing Danny Gartner in a nine-ball tournament in Pittsburgh, and I got him 10 to 5 going to 11. He made the nine on the break, six in a row. Well, you must have gave him good racks. Yeah, well, I don't cheat. I do give him a good rack. But why the nine? Six in a row. Yeah, he Gee did. Gee whiz. It's, it's true. That's a horror show. It is. It is. What do you do? You rack them. Nothing you can do. You don't remember Danny Gartner, do you? Old time no. straight pool player. He's from New Jersey. Good friend of mine. Loves straight pool. Real solid player. Okay, let's listen for the snap. The glance break, he learned that from uh, Lewis. Lewis has been glancing and getting a lot of success. One ball just flew into the side pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you got to jack up a little bit and draw this one rail to the three. I don't see a problem. There's Lewis. Got that poker face all the time. You can't tell if he's winning or losing. He wants to miss the four. He doesn't want to touch the four. Oh, he's not going to hit the four. He's not hitting the four. He's going one rail right to the three. Yep. Just jacking up. Hitting nothing. Makes it a little bit more difficult. No problem for him. Come right back across the table. Yeah. Just missing the four ball. Well, only problem is now he's got to do something spectacular to get to the four. He doesn't have much angle. And going forward, the six enters. Even one rail, the six entered. Does he have enough just to draw back and play the 4-8? Well, he's got that, but I don't know what's going to happen there. That could be real tricky. See the angle he's got? Yeah. He could force it out to the right without hitting it low, you know, center ball, and then take the shot on the four. His decisions. I don't think he can draw it without hitting the five. 
Yes, he could. Good shot. Yes, he could. I was wrong. Drew it more that. than what he wanted to, I'll tell you that much. No, he's all right. He's all right. Got to miss those other balls now. I mean, the six and the eight. But I think he can cut this thin enough with reverse and have the five in the side. Needs a little left. Drawing the ball, he might go two rails into the six. Yeah. I think he can cut this with reverse and have the five in the side. We'll see. Looks like he's playing it with reverse here. Yeah, that's what he has to do. Don't forget, it's new clock. This ball's going to travel, even hitting it thin. Yeah, it's a thin cut. He's got to watch the seven ball. Oh, he did it. He did it. Oh, he reverse. played it perfect, but he missed, he missed it. it. Well, wait a minute. That's where the nine fell. A little <laughs> yeah, give it a we second. got to wait. I don't know whether you noticed it, but Jeremy Sosi just took his time and paused right at the ball to see if it was going to fall. <laughs> well, we're going to have a match here if he can get out here. I think he'll get out. He takes advantage, this guy. I'm telling you, he got perfect here. He got absolutely perfect. He's got an easy shot with the angle to go to the six. That's what I call perfect. Well, this is a big game. He's got to take advantage here. He's fine. He's fine. I don't know if the eight goes in both pockets, but it doesn't matter because... Uh, I guess he's going to go too real. I, maybe the eight goes in either corner pocket. The way he hit that, I think it does. Well, he could go two rails. But if that's the case, he could have got one rail. He's just going to spin right back out Let's see for if the eight in the lower right-hand corner. Watch that side flirting with that side pocket again. He got fine. Do you play one pocket here, or do you play the uh, nine in the opposite well, pocket? Well, the thing here is if you start using reverse, you can miss the shot. I think he's got to draw two rails and play the nine in that other pocket like this. There you go. Good shot. You know, Lewis made a few mistakes earlier, but actually he's playing a pretty solid match. Yes, he is. Makes that nine ball. Now brings this game to a six score five. of six to five. We got action. Jeremy Sosi, sponsored by Jeff Conway and London Bridge and... Uh, his mom, his mom backs him and supports well, anyway, him and everything. Yeah. Something's happened to the scorekeeper on our uh, view here because it's still at five to three. Yeah, well, the, it's the union. They, they're on union break. Look, the score right now yeah. is six to five. They've been sleeping three games. They're on a break. <laughs> well, for you people out there, we'll keep giving you the score. It's six five right now. Yeah. So anyway, we're having problems with the graphics. So uh, Al and I will try to keep you with the proper score. And right now it's six five, favor of Sosi. Yes. Absolutely. There it is. We got it. Mr. Fleming has some of the best technical crew behind the scenes. Uh, there's a lot that goes on here. That was fixed in You the have heartbeat. no idea what a great crew he's got. Yeah. They're not all here, yep. but he's got a great crew. I love working with all of them.
Come on, Jeremy. Jeremy Sosi says it's okay for him. Here we go, 6-5. Game 12. Lewis Aldridge set the break. And this time the nine drifts towards the side. Well, he made a ball, but he's got a bank on the one again. Where's the two? Right down there by the seven there at the bottom left-hand corner of your monitor. I think I got a bank at this. I think you bank at this because you're going to get position if you make it. As long as that two goes into that corner, yeah. yeah it's, it's it a, goes. Uh, He's going to shoot at this. It's not a gimme, but it's the way to go. But you got to hit it soft. Well, he hit it. He made it all right, and he got the best of it. He deserved it. He deserved the roll there because he made a good shot. Now, how do you get to the five? Glance off the seven. Yeah, but you got to go one rail to the five. He's got to go to the four first. Oh, the four. Okay, I it's didn't on the see other the side. four. Yeah. I didn't see the yeah, four. Yeah, he was standing in your I'm view there. I'm snookered. Yeah, I was snookered. Yeah, he's fine here. He got perfect. No, he didn't get perfect this time. But if he doesn't want to cut it and fly around, he could shoot and stick right there. Yeah, he's I played a mousetrap. I won't uh, knock that. He wants to cut it. He wants to shoot. You know, oh, of course. He was way behind. It's six five now. He does. He knows he can win the game making the ball, playing safe. Maybe you could win. So he's going to shoot, and he's going to make it too. He's got to watch the cue ball coming out. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Not really. Well, fifty yard line. He banked the one. He might as well start banking the six ball. Well, it doesn't go by the nine, and he can't bank it in the corner because the cue ball flies around. you got bank to play it safe. safe here. Not bank it safe. Cut it safe. Cut it to the end rail and try to go behind balls. Two rails back to the end rail. Beautiful. Cue ball behind the seven. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice shot. Well, well, it didn't go, but. He can hit it, but he doesn't have a shot to make it. Came up with a great shot on the five ball, looking to tie the match up 6-6. Six, six. And he shot too hard. And he got too shot hard. too hard on wow. the five. Anyway, giving himself another opportunity to get back to the table playing a nice safe. Well, he had a better safe if he would have shot the five and stuck it behind the eight. But that's gone. He's got he's to outthink him from here because we're going to do some thinking here. What do you do here? You just thin this six ball on the right side and try to bring the cue ball back behind the seven ball where Lewis tried to put him. But I, you got to be don't careful. I think so because you're selling out the seven. Yes, I like yeah. banking the six perpendicular toward, towards the eight with left-hand English where the cue ball stays down there. See, left-hand English hitting the six, you're going to hit the side rail and go back to the end rail. I don't like cutting it. Well, yeah, the only problem with cutting is you might sell the six out if you hit it too hard right. and bring You're it out. You're not going to sell it out if you bank it to the center diamond. But you need reverse so the cue ball doesn't fly around. But he's doing something else. He's not else. firing he's at this bank, is he? Else. He might be. He might be. I don't like it. He doesn't have my permission to do this. <laughs> yeah, he get it. Without Danny's permission, you better be shooting it safe. That's what he tried to do. He didn't hit it hard enough. He might have sold the six. No, he didn't. No. He can hit the edge for sure. He can hit the edge. Yeah, but hitting the edge here is uh, not as easy as, it, well, from here it doesn't oh, look as easy. It's very tough. But if he hits it real thin, like he needs to to make it, he Could will it. hit the end rail. But he Could looks he? like he can hit a third of it. If he can hit a third of it and stick the cue ball right there and just bring the six down right next to the eight, it'll be fine. Sticking the cue ball behind the nine. I don't think he can hit that side. I don't think he can hit that side. Yeah, he's in a bad spot here. I don't see a good save here. I think you almost got to try to cut the six in the right-hand corner. Whoa. Yeah, you're going to That's asking a lot right from well, here, no? It's asking a lot to try to play safe, hitting it fuller. 
That's what he attempted to do. Yeah. Play it down in the lower rail. Well, he didn't Came leave pretty a good. shot. He let him hit it, but he didn't leave a shot. So that is sufficient. But now you got to bank the six back to where the cue ball is. Now we're in a safety battle. Yeah. What do you think about just playing? It's it's so tough to roll that ball with that cue ball up on that rail like that. Roll that cue ball off of the six and just try to trap him up behind the seven. Nah, That's very tough. tough. Very tough. I'd rather see him bank the six towards where the cue ball is right now, whether he snookers him or not. Get the six to that end rail. Yeah. yeah. That's about the only thing he does have. That's, you're right. That's what he has. I'll tell you what, what looked like it was just going to be a blowout and Jeremy running away with this uh, match is turning into a, almost a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, Lewis holding on. It's now 6-5 to five in favor of uh, Jeremy. And I think Lewis has the best of it from here. Unless he makes a great hit. But he's on the rail. Tough to make good hits when you're on the rail because the cue ball is going to fly around a little bit. You know, you can't yeah, and, control and it. There's not m many places to hide the six. Well, I don't like hiding it because you can't. You know what he's going to try to do? Back. Danny, he's going to try to line that cue ball up behind the nine to, to block that six ball from being hit at all. I don't like that. That's like real long, a long shot. He's got to bank the six right to where the cue ball is now. You're not going to snooker the guy. Oh, I don't like him hitting the other side. Yeah, he's hitting the other side to try to line up that cue ball behind the nine. Forget that. He could that's, sell that six out so that, easy. That's a sleep in the street shot. What would you call that? Sleep in the street. If you sleep try to get him with the nine. You know. For those of you that don't know what that is, <laughs> you're not making the money to stay up in the hotel. <laughs> that's exactly right. The only shot he's got, bank the six back to the end rail. Whatever happens, let him see it, but. Well, he's we'll playing see. the other side of it. Well, he ain't going to like it. He unless he unless the like six it. hits the seven, if I he can get the six. I don't care what he does. He's not going to like this shooting the wrong side. Six. There up you go. the table. Yeah. See you later. See you later. Didn't hit it hard enough. It was a tough shot. He went the wrong way with it. I think he didn't feel comfortable with banking it being on the rail the way well, it was. Maybe it's not in his repertoire either. Yeah. Maybe he had dreams of snookering him, and you couldn't. Just leave the six where the guy doesn't get a shot. Yeah, I mean, this is not a gimme. Oh, by but far, But the guy no. can win the game with it. He oh, he can tie the match. The not only win the game, he can tie the match right from here. Yeah. Well, winning this game ties the match. <laughs> yep. Oh. He missed it. He refused to tie the match. Made the eight. Possibly. No, nope, <laughs> he didn't. But nevertheless, I don't know if the six, we got to take a better look at the six, seven here. Six, uh, six go. goes. He can fit a truck by there. Well, the guy came back and, and, and got close, so you got to make this. There is no missing this. You got to make this, which he did. Good shot. Very good shot. I like playing a nine in the side pocket, so he's going to have to leave himself an angle just to get back up table. There well, you go. You got it. You're right, oh, oh. He's got a thinner hit than he wanted. Should be no problem, though. No, he should make it. 
That he does, and now leads 7-5 to five over Lewis Aldrich. Jeremy Sosi set the break in game 13. Interesting match. I hope you people out there are liking it. Well, I'll tell you right now, Danny, there's a lot of people out there just liking to hear your voice right now. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I keep abreast of all the things going on. And uh, the feedback was just so overwhelming that, uh, you know, all the wishing wells and prayers and everything going out and watching Diane Hoppy putting the photos up. Oh, yeah, she's great. She's great. Well, it looks like the racking procedure is going to start having problems as the cloth wears and gets little divots in it from breaking. You know what Diana Hoppy did once? I went to visit her in South Carolina. I had my own bedroom, my own bathroom. She put a rattlesnake in my bathroom. Well, that's the normal, isn't it? You should sure. be used to that by now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're lucky she didn't put a flapping fish on the bathroom floor. <laughs> Here we go. I'm yet to see Jeremy's time uh, and his break really come together. It doesn't sound right. Uh, I can tell you that from experience. Maybe he got a little more confidence in that game. Let's see. Uh, maybe he's just taking a little bit yeah, off ball it. ball went. He's taking something off it well, to make it balls. Well, nothing happened when he hit him hard. Yeah. You've got to try something different. Yep. He has a safe here. That's all he's got. Got a bank this behind the, uh, what is this ball here? The two ball? The two, yeah. Two rail it behind the two and go the other way with the cue ball. I don't like it, and I'll tell you for one reason. You're leaving the one ball down there and a possible billiard or a kick shot into oh, that nine ball. Forget it. The cue ball is going behind the five. He ain't going to have anything like that. Bank the one behind the two and go behind the five with the cue ball. I don't see what can go wrong. I just don't like putting the next ball in rotation and next to the nine ball at all. Why? You think you know? it's automatically going to no, go? No, absolutely it's not. three feet from the pocket. Absolutely not automatic. But, you know, you got to play the odds. And uh, what happens if you don't get behind that five ball? Al, you're making me... Work? <laughs> no, you're making me really desire to play you. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this shot? <laughs> how about this one, Dan? It's a good shot. It's a good shot. Wind them up right behind a seven ball like he's supposed to. Well, I imagine he'll hit this. But again, see the diagonal here? High or low affects the angle it comes up. He's going to jump. Lewis Air. Oh, I don't know about this. No jump cues allowed. You got to yeah. jump with your break cue. I don't know about getting the best of jumping. Cue. No, I didn't like that. Ball in hand. Like Jeremy Sosi has seven right now. Yeah. Wide See. open table. Every ball has a pocket. Could wind up going to the hill. See, I have a theory about all that. If the one is hanging in a pocket and you could jump and make it, fine. But if you're only jumping to hit it, then kick it. For that reason. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, talking about jump shots, uh, I think one of the better jump shot players that I've seen so far, Sean Putnam is so accurate. Well, you never saw Pat Fleming jump. Pat I saw Fleming, Pat Fleming jump. He jumped yeah, up, missed a couple of balls. No, he's a great jumper. Pat Fleming is a great jumper. Of course, I shouldn't say that because he might have had a game I knocked. He 
It just knocked his action. Yep. But he is a great jumper. All right, just come up, shoot the three in the opposite corner or the same pocket. He elects to play it in the same pocket. Yeah, there's nothing wrong here. Good decision here. Needs a little more angle than that. No, he's got a little. If he draw if he doesn't have it, he no, you can't draw back because you're going to be too thin. Can he go two rails under the five? I don't. I can't see the angle real well. Yeah, just stopping there. The five is going to be too thin a hit to hold it for the uh, seven. He might draw all the way down table and bring Whitey back up. That might be the best idea. Can't tell. Yeah, that's what that's he's going to do. He did. Create the angle. Get straight. Yep. Good nice shot. shot. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you owe me another coffee. Nice shot. Well, he's in danger of getting on the hill. One rail, come back down for the nine. Yeah, just don't put too much English on and scratch in the corner. Oh, I'm sure he's not going to do that. Well, why not? We've seen things like this. It didn't look real impossible the way he oh, hit it. Yeah. He hit it good. He aimed at that part. Good shot. Jeremy Sosi on the verge of going on the hill here. And he does. Jeremy Sosi now has eight to Lewis Allrich is five. This is a race to nine. Once again, this is the Turning Stone Classic 18 coming from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. 150 miles east of Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. I had to throw Buffalo in there. For those of you who don't know, and there's not many, you know Danny is from California. <laughs> <laughs> he is actually from Buffalo. Yeah. City of brotherly love. That's what they call it. City of a lot of snow, huh, Dan? I say we got lucky so far. We didn't get any. Yeah. It snowed one night. It was gone the next day after they predicted all kinds of stuff. Back at the ranch, Jeremy Sosi snapping. Two ball finding the corner. Yeah. Cue Where ball finding one? the one. <laughs> the one found behind the balls. <laughs> you know, in Buffalo, I live right across the street from the pool room. I don't even have to drive. But it's the busiest street in western New York, Transit Road, Classic Q, and it's so busy that six or seven times a day I almost get run over crossing the street. And well, it looks you like they're trying to get me. Get a light out there, four-way stop sign, something. You're right. We could use that. We can use a ramp going over the street. I stopped up there in Buffalo, one of the famous Buffalo wing places. What's the name of that big famous one over there? You could hardly get in the joint. Yeah, the Anchor Bar. <laughs> it is. No, there's another one up there. No, no, no. The most famous one is the Anchor Bar. They write about it all over the place, and you can't get in there. The Anchor Bar. Yeah? Okay, I didn't yep. stop in there. I stopped yep. at another one. I forget the name. I'll look it up. Well, our pool room has good wings. What I do get and a wait, kick out of. Wait, if you go anywhere else, I hope you choke on the bone. <laughs> What's what kind of percentages you're getting in that joint, Danny? <laughs> what I do get a kick out of is uh, just traveling up to Buffalo as you get up the throughway there. I don't know if you folks have ever been up that way, but as you get to the end of the throughway, if you look off to your left, depending on which direction you're coming, you actually see a herd of buffalo. And the first time I went up, no, there, no, 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 you don't see a herd of buffalo. How many up there? Six. No buffalo. They took them they down? They call it buffalo, but there never were buffalo roaming buffalo. 
The name is from the French came and they saw the Niagara River and they called it Beautiful River, Beau Fleuve. And from that, they want a buffalo. There's never no, been buffalo. No, what, I'm not saying that the buffalo, but there are buffalo statues up there off of the thruway as you get up there. I don't know if you've ever seen them on the left-hand yeah. side. It scared me half to death the first time I saw them. Because yeah. I'm always looking for deer running across the road, and here I see six or seven or eight buffalo standing on the side. Of, they're only statues, you but they're life-size statues. Life, life well, size well, you statues. know what happened? Yeah. They got statues with jaguars, and they ate them all. They ate all the buffalo. Buffalo's a rough place. I'm not going up there. <laughs> All right, Jeremy Sosi looks like he might have a piece of this one ball to bring the cue ball back down behind the three or the nine, somewhere down by the seven. Yeah. Now it gets shaky for Lewis because he can't afford any more mistakes. Of course, this is double elimination, so it, is, it isn't like he's eliminated if he loses. He's still got a chance. Uh-oh, this is going into the corner no, pocket. Ooh. No, it ain't. Look it's at going this. behind the three. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, boy. Hello, three ball. Yeah, this is the end of Rico. Yeah, I guess so. He doesn't have the angle to go out three rails and try to get to this one. He's looking at it, but I don't think he has the angle. Now, here he's got to just hope to hit the ball. Looks like he's ball trying. in hand figures to be the end of him. He's looking to spin this long, three rails. Yeah, well, it could because it's new cloth. He, got, he needs another rail. He made the hit and he got the rail. He Looks like it. he's going to wind up behind he a seven. He needed a rail, folks. Touche, Jeremy. Well, he's still alive. Okay, Jeremy looking to go one rail right at this this one ball here. It looks short. He's I got, don't know. He's got to hit it with speed. Yeah. Trying to bring the cue ball or the one ball back down the other end. Got to yeah. hit it with more speed than that. No. Nope. He didn't get there. He can very well sell out here. And it's eight to six right now. Yes. It could be 8 7 at any time now. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, he, he's, he's right. got to let us. He got he, perfect. He got perfect. Listen, you have no more choices. You got to run these out. You got to go for it. Let your stroke out. Mm -hmm. Let's play pool. Yeah, he's fine here. He's got to go forward, shoot the six in the side, you know, hit the end rail. Shoot the six in the side. The seven is easy. Six in the side is a shot. Yeah, just roll this in. You'll be perfect. That's what he did. He got a little angle, but he's going to have to go into the rail, bounce out a little. He might, able, he might just be able to just to stop the cue ball right on that no, side. No, no, it's huh? got an angle. He can't stop the cue ball. He's going into the rail and trying oh, to get closer. He's got more angle in Yeah. yeah get it? Well, uh oh He hit it good. He oh. hit it good. Looked like he was about to fort with the eight ball. He's still got work to do. It should be okay. I know, but he's got work to do. He might have to hit rails. Yeah, he can't just roll this in. He's got to hit rails, try to get straight on the nine. He did. Good shot. 
Well, we still have a match here, Al. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like we're about to go to eight to six. 14 games eight in the bank. Six. Jeremy Leiden, eight to six. This is a race to nine. Not over yet. Yeah, that's what Yoga Bear said. It's not over till it's over. Fans are filling up the arena here as we scan. Yeah. Uh, well, the, it's a big the, arena, so it, that it, couple you know. right there, uh, Danny. Yeah. On monitor, I see them all over the world. They were at Derby City. They were also at the Moscone Cup. They live in Rochester. Yeah. They travel. Unbelievable. Support the pool tournaments wherever they go. They love nice it. Nice people. Yeah, they love and, it. And yeah. it's pretty nice to have a woman that loves it, too, you know? In fact, that was the couple that had the earphones on, remember? I think it was at the U.S. Open also. Yeah, U.S. Open. Yep. On the headsets. What did I say, the earphones? It's the headsets. It's close. Yeah. I like I like the headphones. Do you? Yeah. You know why? Because when I'm doing commentary and I see them listening, if they smile, I know that my stupid stuff is entertaining. So, but if they don't, <laughs> then I shut up. <laughs> and they were waving, too. And they were laughing. So they're always having a good time. And here we go. We're going into rack number 15. Lewis Aldrich set the break. There wow. went again. Balls just flew all over the Where place. Where are you? Where four, are you? Four ball drop. He made a ball. The one ball dropped. Well, he's got a little something to do here. You know, this is not real easy to yeah. make this ball and get position on the three. Here, you almost got to go at the three and hope something good happens because I don't what see a, controlling it. It's too thin a hit. What about the six? Does it pass the seven into yeah, the other pocket Yeah, too? easily. Well, he went after it, yeah, or is he going to play it into hard. the side? It's too hard. It's too hard. But okay. Yeah, the six goes. No problem here. He falls on the five. He's going to get out. He Watch out. It. Yeah. He missed it. He hit the point of the side pocket. He overcut it from the get-go. And it looks like Jeremy can hit the three from my vantage point. I'm kind of looking down at the shot. I think he can make it. I don't know if he has enough of it to make it, Dan. I think he does. Wow. I think he does. He's looking at something else right now. The five goes by the nine. So in case he has to hit this on the thin side, he can go one rail to the five. I think he can make it. He's looking at, yeah, I, I guess he could see, make it. You know, he's looking to see if the five goes by the nine. And I think it does. That's all there is. He falls on the five. This match is history. Well, the way he's shooting it. I don't think the five goes into the corner pocket. I, I think it does, but I'm old and blind. But I think it goes. 
Are you fishing out there for a game? Is that why you're saying you're old and blind? I'm always working. All right. Always working. Get it? Yeah, Think I guess the five it does. goes? I guess it does. He's of not going to be playing goes. the combination from here. It's He's over. definitely playing the five. It's over. No problems here. Do you know Sal? Or Saul? No, who's that? Saul over? Wow. Hey, you get cornier than me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know, Dan, that comes from one of the Aki stats crew. <laughs> Uh oh. This he's, is not well he's, he's okay. all right. He's come he's out too real. All right, he's good. This is over. It's over. It's history. Good match. It was very yeah, interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Really nice match. Lewis gave uh, came along with his second wind and got back into this match. And Jeremy. Lewis concedes, and there you have it. Jeremy Sosi comes out on top. Okay, folks, stay by your sets because we're going to have a lot of matches here in the next few days. What a nice game that was, Danny. A pleasure to sit in with you in the booth. Thank you. Finally, my Vice hero. Vice versa. I used to think of him as, you know, a really great guy. Now, I don't know. I'm just going to walk away with my head down. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. <laughs> we'll be. Yeah, his father plays here, too. Played in Mario. Yeah, Mario plays here, too. Good player. Yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> to run out to that tobacco store. If you got, Jerry, if you don't have, okay. go buy some, will you? Okay. 